hi and welcome to my new video and as you can see i'm outside since this watch is meant to be outside in the nature and while you look some of the specs of the watch i'm gonna tell you that uh, as the title of this video says uh, i'm gonna run through the altimeter barometer and the compass aspect of this watch so if you are happy uh, with the facts as a famous trio would say back to the studio I'm gonna start off with the compass mode. In the digital compass mode, a built-in bearing sensor detects uh, the uh, magnetic north at regular intervals and indicates one of the 16 directions on the display. Uh, how to take the compass reading? First of all, you have to make sure that the watch is in the standard timekeeping mode or in any uh, 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 sensor modes. The sensor modes are the compass barometer and the altimeter mode. Uh, now place the watch on the flat surface like this but uh, for the purposes of this video I'm gonna keep it uh, to the camera but to uh, make uh, or uh, take the co correct measurement you have to place it flat then press the uh, compass button and the watch uh, will engage the compass mode now before pressing the compass button you want to uh, point the 12 o'clock position of the watch in the direction you want to measure now we have a lot, lot of uh, digital uh, screen indicators happening on the display as I press the compass button. And what, what those indicators mean? Well, here is a chart. So you have the direction indicator, uh, 12 o'clock position, north pointer, and you have your angle value in degrees. And over here are the uh, uh, angle values or the um, direction indicators so you can have a better lookout watch uh, uh, which indicator means what what but i believe you know that so north east south uh, and west and all of the other combinations from those uh, letters after the first reading is obtained the watch will continue to take digital compass readings automatically each second for up to uh, 20 seconds after that measurement will stop automatically uh, the direction indicator and angle will, angle will be uh, indicated as over here. So you have three lines on the uh, digital dial to indicate that the digital compass readings are complete. The auto light switch is disabled during the 20 seconds that digital compass readings are being taken. Calibrating the bearing sensor. You should calibrate the bearing sensor whenever you feel that the directional readings uh, being produced by the watch uh, are off. Uh, there are three uh, different calibration methods available. Magnetic declination correction, bidirectional co uh, calibration and northerly calibration. What is the magnetic declination correction? Uh, with magnetic uh, declination correction, you input a magnetic declination angle difference between magnetic north and true north, which allows the watch to indicate true north. You can perform this uh, procedure when the magnetic uh, declination angle is indicated on the map that you are using. Note that you can uh, input the uh, declination angle in whole degree units only, so uh, you may need to round out the value uh, specified on the map. How to perform the magnetic declination correction? In the uh, digital compass mode, uh, hold down the um, over here adjust button until the current uh, magnetic declination settings start to flash on the display. So let's go, here we are. and. Uh, before the magnetic uh, declination settings start to flash, the message set hold will appear. So let's go, set hold. Now, do not release until uh, this indicates on the uh, digital display. Now, when the set hold disappears and the magnetic uh, declination setting starts to flash, we use the um, uh, Alt button and the uh, compass button, so east and west, to change the settings. The following, uh, uh, in the following procedure, I will explain how to magnetic, uh, magnetically decline the angle direction. So, uh, when it says off over here, you have no magnetic declination correction performed. The magnetic declination angle will be set to zero. Now, when I press the um, uh, one of those two buttons, so compass button, you have W indicated over here. Uh, when magnetic north is to the west, so west declination, you can set a value within the range of west 90 degrees to east 90 degrees with these settings. So I press the compass button, but when I press the altimeter button, it's off. 
and pressing the altimeter button. Now we go to the uh, setting your declination to east one degree. Uh, you can turn off the magnetic declination correction by pressing the um, compass and the altimeter button at the same time. So currently it's off and it's zero degrees. Now, when uh, the settings is the way you want, simply press the uh, adjust button once to exit the setting screen. And that's it. Pressing the compass button again and our readings should be uh, correct with the this calibration. What is the bidirectional calibration and northerly calibration? Uh, bidirectional calibration and northerly cal calibration calibrate the accuracy of bearing sensor in uh, relation to magnetic north. Use the bidirectional calibration when you want to take readings within an area exposed to magnetic force. This type of uh, calibration uh, should be used if the watch becomes magnetized for any reason. With the northerly cal uh, calibration, you teach the watch uh, which way is north, which I have to determine with another compass or the um, other means. Now, how to perform the uh, magnetic calibration? Uh, in the uh, well, first of all, let me pull, uh, lay the watch down horizontally. Here I am as uh, flat as possible, and I hope the camera can catch uh, this um, this angle. So, uh, what are the precautions about uh, bidirectional calibration? You can use uh, any two opposing directions for bidirectional calibration. You must, you must, however, make sure that they are 180 degrees opposite each other. Remember that if you perform the procedure incorrectly, you will get wrong bearing sensor readings. Do not move the watch while calibration of either uh, direction is in progress. Uh, you should perform the uh, cal bidirectional calibration in an environment that is the same as the, uh, that where you plan uh, to be taking the directional readings. So, so let's get started. In the di digital compass mode, press and hold the adjust button until set hold appears and disappears with a beep. So over here we have the um, uh, current declination uh, settings. Now, um, what is next to do? Well, it's to press the mode button. And at this time, uh, one is indicated and the 12 o'clock pointer is uh, flashing. So uh, this indicates that the watch is ready to calibrate the, uh, in the first direction. Place the watch on a, a level surface facing any direction you want and then uh, press the um, compass button to calibrate for the first direction. So here we go. Uh, three lines and, and the dot should, be, should appear over here while the calibration is being uh, done. And uh, when its calibration is successful, and it will uh, show OK and number two, uh, which means that the uh, watch is ready to uh, be uh, calibrated in the second direction. So uh, now we have to rotate the watch 180 degrees, press the compass button once again, and it will show the same uh, indicated on indicated indications on the screen. And uh, the display will show OK when the calibration is successful and they uh, will change to the digital compass mode. So we have it done over here. Now, those would be the basics of the digital calibration uh, of this watch. How to perform the northerly calibration? In the digital compass mode, hold down the adjust button until set, holes up, up, set hold appears and disappears on the screen. Now press the uh, mode button twice and uh, the northerly calibration settings. So at this time, N is a, has appeared on our digital uh, display. Now place the watch on a flat level surface, surface and place it so in the 12 o'clock position points at, at the north with the, um, as measured with the another compass. Now press the, uh, uh, the compass uh, mode over here to uh, uh, start the calibration operation. And there it is. There it is. Now uh, the three lines and the dot will appear, uh, which means that the calibration is being performed. When calibration is successful, the menu will 
show OK, and then the, it will change to the digital compass mode. And it did, so we are now in the digital compass mode. Bearing memory lets you store a directional reading and display that reading as you take subsequent digital compass measurements. The bearing memory screen displays the uh, directional angle for the stored direction, along with the indicator on the display that also indicates the stored direction. When you take digital compass measurement while the bearing memory screen is on the display, the direction angle of the current digital compass measurement, as read from the 12 o'clock position of the watch and currently stored uh, uh, bearing memory direction, information will be both available. So what is the bearing memory? Over here you have your 12 o'clock uh, position. Uh, this, this is the obviously the north pointer. You have your uh, east, west and uh, south. Also this is the bearing memory angle would be appeared over here. Currently we have none stored so there's none to be shown. And uh, basically uh, that's uh, that's much. Uh, that's pretty much it. Also, you have your uh, directional direction angle over here of the current reading. During the uh, how to store the directional angle in the bearing memory. So first of all, you have to start the compass, obviously. But then you have to press the um, you have to press the uh, adjust button uh, to store the direction. So let's start the compass and press the adjust button. Let's say we want to go over there. And now we have stored the value of our uh, bearing memory. So uh, during the, uh, if a bearing memory uh, uh, direction angle value is already displayed, it means that the bearing memory screen is displayed. Now, uh, as I said previously, if we had previously a number over here, it means that the watch has already stored some bearing memory. Now, a simple way to do that is simply press the adjust button and it will delete it. Since there was none, I press the adjust button to store a new bearing memory information. Uh, the bearing memory uh, direction angle flashes for about uh, one second as it's uh, stored in the bearing memory. Uh, after that, the bearing memory screen, which shows the bearing memory direction uh, angle will appear and the 20 second directional reading operation will, uh, will start. Uh, during the first 20 seconds, um, after you display the bearing memory uh, screen or during the 20 seconds directional uh, reading operation while the bearing memory screen is on the display, the direction stored in the memory is indicated by the bearing memory pointer. What is the idea of using the um, bearing memory or the compass in this case? Well, uh, you can use it while mountain climbing or hiking, uh, setting the map to find your uh, current uh, location uh, for first, and having an idea of your current location is important when uh, mountain climbing or hiking. To do this, you need to set the map, which means that to align the map to the directions indicated or on it are, are aligned with the uh, the actual directions of your lo lo location. Basically what uh, you are doing is aligning north on the map with north as indicated by the watch. Finding the uh, bearing to an objective and then determining the directional angle to, the, to an objective on a map and heading in that direction. So uh, the principle is uh, pretty simple. Once you are in the nature, you have your watch which uh, indicates that the uh, what are, what are the uh, sides of the world, so we have your north, east, west and south, and you have your object, let's say, over here, you basically point your watch over there, press the adjust button, so you enter the uh, bearing memory, and now every time you go anywhere, uh, it will show you the north and uh, also your uh, bearing memory, or where you supposed to be going uh, now this is much easier and much helpful when you have the map on your uh, on your hands. The barometer mode or slash the thermometer mode, so it's on the same button of the watch. So uh, from the standard timekeeping mode, simply press the barrow button over here, and the watch will uh, enter the barometer mode. Now the significant the significant features over here you have your temperature readout. This is the barometric graph. This is the barometric uh, pressure, and uh, over here, this uh, indicator indicator on the screen is the barometric pressure differential uh, differential pointer. Uh, 
what's the what's there to say about the barometer or the barometric pressure the barometric pressure uh, is indicated in the units of one hectopascals or 0 0.05 inches per mercury the displayed barometric pressure value changes to uh, three lines on the digital display if a measured barometric pressure uh, falls outside the range of 260 hectopascals to 100 uh, 1100 hectopascals which uh, equals to 7.65 uh, inches per mercury to 32.45 uh, inches per mercury. The barometric pressure value will uh, reappear as soon as the measured barometric pressure is within the allowable range. Temperature over here is uh, displayed in the units of 0 0.1 degrees Celsius or 0 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The displayed temperature value also changes through uh, three lines over here on the digital subdial on the upper digital subdial. Uh, if a measured temperature unit falls outside the range of minus 10 degrees Celsius uh, or above uh, 60 degrees Celsius, that equals to 14 degrees of Fahrenheit or uh, 140 degrees of Fahrenheit. The temperature value will uh, reappear as soon as uh, the measured temperature is within the allowable range. What is the barometric pressure graph? That is this graph over here uh, on the uh, uh, green, uh, let's call it green screen on the uh, dial, main dial. Uh, the barometric pressure indicates uh, changes in the atmosphere. By monitoring these uh, changes, you can uh, predict the weather with a reasonable accuracy. This watch uh, takes barometric pressure measurements automatically every two hours. And uh, measurement results are used to produce the barometric pressure graph and the barometric pressure differential point readings, which we'll get to later. How to uh, read the barometric uh, pressure graph? Well, you have your horizontal axis over here and you have your vertical axis over here. The horizontal axis of the graph represents the time, which with uh, each dot standing for two hours. The rightmost dot represents the most um, recent reading. The vertical axis of the graph represents the barometric uh, pressure, with each dot the, uh, standing for the relative difference between its reading and uh, that of the dots, dots next to it. Each dot represents one hectopascal. So uh, there are two tendencies in the, um, this graph, uh, or how to interpret the data. Over here you have a better representation of that. So, Upper picture is a for a rising graph, generally means improving weather, and the lower picture is a falling uh, graph, generally means the deteriorating red weather. What is the barometric pressure differential pointer? This pointer over here, that is this, uh, in this case, purple line or blue line, whichever you want to call it, uh, indicates the relative difference between the most recent barometric pressure reading indicated on the barometric uh, pressure graph and the current barometric pressure value displayed in the barometer or the thermometer slash thermometer mode. Now, uh, above, uh, just besides this uh, purple line, you have the scale indicating uh, 10, 5, 0, minus 5, and minus 10. I'm going to put in uh, this graph over here so you have a better um, uh, representation of what it does. So, if the, uh, this purple line moves to the bottom, current pressure uh, less than most recent uh, uh, measured pressure and if it moves up uh, current pressure greater than most recent measure, uh, measured pressure. In this case we have the purple line just above the uh, zero which uh, let's, it's um, uh, let's say uh, close to the previous, previous measurement this watch took but uh, uh, on the upper side it's the current pressure uh, is greater than the recent measured pressure. Um, Barometric pressure is calculated and displayed using the uh, hectopascals as the standard. The barometric pressure differential also can be read in the in inches per, uh, per mercury, as uh, is shown in this picture over here. So you have your um, uh, also the scale for inches per mercury or the imperial units. Sensor calibration, or in this case, barometric slash uh, thermometer sensor calibration. Uh, the pressure sensor and the temperature sensor built into this watch are calibrated at the factory and normal, uh, normally require no further adjustment. 
If you notice serious errors in the pres pressure readings and temperature readings produced by the watch, you can manually correct the, uh, calibrate the sensors to correct the errors. How to calibrate the uh, sensor, uh, the, uh, the barometric or the temperature sensor? First of all, you have to be in the barometer mode, and we, uh, we are currently in the barometer mode. And once there, press and hold the adjust button until set hold appears on the, on the uh, display and release it when the watch beeps. And here we have it, currently blinking 26 degrees Celsius. So we are in the position of uh, correcting the temperature value. Now to correct the temperature value, you can press the compass or the altimeter button and it will do the, uh, in, uh, the correction in uh, increments of 0 0.1 degrees Celsius in this case. So pressing the compass button or the altimeter button uh, will correct that uh, temperature readout. So the best for you to do is have a thermometer by your side to compare the values. And uh, if the, uh, the watch and the thermometer are on the same uh, temperature, room temperature, you can adjust your watch to the uh, more accurate, uh, let's say that the secondary instrument is more accurate, you can uh, correct your watch to that same instrument. Once you set your uh, temperature value, simply press the mode button and the flashing uh, moves to the uh, barometric pressure readout. Now, you can set that uh, value, uh, its procedure is the same, so pressing the compass LD and the altimeter button, you can increase or decrease that value. Once again, to uh, do these um, adjustments, you would uh, preferably have another instrument by your side, which is uh, much more accurate, so you can compare the values to your watch and set your watch exactly to that instrument if that ins instrument is 100% correct. Once you're done, simply press the adjust button and the watch will implement all of those settings. Those would be the basics of the barometer slash thermometer mode on this watch. Altimeter mode or using the altimeter on this watch. Uh, well, I'm currently in the altimeter mode. So what I've done is from the standard timekeeping mode, I simply press the altimeter button once and the watch enter the altimeter mode. First of all, watch, uh, what you can see on this watch, uh, the screen indicators indicate over here you have your um, current altitude, over here you have your current time charge level of the watch, you have your uh, altitude differential and you have your altitude graph. The current altitude value is displayed in units of 5 meters or uh, 20 feet. After the first reading is obtained, the watch continues to take altimeter readings automatically every 5 seconds for the first 3 minutes and then every 2 minutes after that. Uh, you can, uh, how to, uh, if you leave your watch in the altimeter mode, it will update the uh, displayed altitude value regularly and indicate the reading to reading uh, changes from the graph 4. Next cool feature is this altitude graph over here. Uh, you have your, uh, on the, the vertical axis of the graph, uh, represents the altitude and each dot, dot stands for 10 meters or 40 feet. The horizontal axis represents the time. For the altitude readings taken during the first three minutes after you start an altimeter measurement operation, each dot represents five seconds. After that, each dot represents two minutes. Uh, an out-of-range reading or a measurement error will cause the uh, column of dots for that reading to be blanked or skipped. The measurement uh, range for this altitude in this sensor uh, is uh, minus 700 to uh, 10,000 meters or uh, minus uh, 2300 to uh, 32,800 feet. Uh, the displayed altitude value uh, changes to uh, three lines on the main dial uh, if uh, an altitude reading falls outside the measurement range. How to select an altitude auto measurement me uh, method? You can select either of the following two altitude measure, uh, measurement methods. 0 0.05, that stands for reading at 5 seconds interval for 1 hour, and uh, two, uh, uh, 200, readings at 5 seconds interval for the first 3 minutes, uh, followed by 2 minute intervals for the the first uh, approximately 24 hours. How to do that or select that? Uh, first of all, you have to be obviously in the altimeter mode. And once you're there, simply press and hold the adjust button until set hold appears and release it when you hear the beep.
let's see what the watch uh, shows. Now uh, you will have to press the mode button and you have two indicated on the screen. Remember that we said that uh, two stands for uh, two zero zero stands for readings at five seconds interval for the first three minutes followed by two minute interval for approximately 24 hours you can press the altimeter button to switch to press it again to switch it switch it to zero zero five uh, this stands for reading at five seconds in interval for one hour once you're done so you can uh, simply uh, switch between those two by pressing the altimeter button. Once you're done, simply press the adjust button and the watch will uh, implement those settings and it will get you back to the altimeter mode. Using the altitude differential value, the altimeter mode screen includes the uh, an altimeter differential value over here that shows the change in the altitude from a reference point you specify. The altitude differential value is updated each time the watch takes an altitude reading. The range of an altitude differential over here is uh, minus 3000 meters uh, to uh, 3000 meters. So minus 9980 feet to 9980 feet. Three lines over here will appear or will be displayed uh, when the measurement value is outside the following range. How to specify the differential uh, start point? Well, whilst you are in the standard, uh, sorry, whilst you are in the altimeter mode, simply press the adjust button once, and it will reset the value of your differential uh, altitude differential value. And what is uh, this altitude differential value used for? Well, mostly for mountain climbing and hiking. So. After you specify the altitude differential start point while mountain climbing or hiking, you can easily measure the change in the altitude between that point and the other points along the way. As I've said previously, once you get to that point, simply press the adjust button and I already done that, so it will reset the altitude differential value to zero. And once you continue with your hiking or climbing, the watch will show you the uh, uh, differential between that point, so altitude uh, differential between the reference point and your current point. Specifying a reference altitude value, the altitude readings produced by this watch are subject to error caused by changes in air pressure. Because of this, uh, I can uh, recommend you to uh, update the reference altitude value whenever one is available during your climb. After you specify a reference altitude value, the watch adjusts uh, its air pressure to altitude conversion uh, calculation accordingly. So how to do that? Uh, whilst in the altimeter mode, simply press and hold the adjust button until set hold appears and release it when you hear the beep. And there it is. Uh, it will appear, uh, the watch will show you the current uh, altitude value and it will start to flash. By pressing the um, compass button or the altimeter button, you can change the current reference value by 5 meters. In this case, this sensor or this watch allows you to change that in increments of 5 meters or if you are using the imperial units, you can change it to uh, 20 feet. Uh, you have to specify a reference value based on an ac accurate uh, altitude information uh, about your current location from a map and or etc. Uh, you can set the reference altitude value within the range of minus 10,000 to uh, 10,000 feet. Uh, pressing the compass or the altimeter button at the same time returns to off. The off will be indicated on this screen over here. So the watch performs air pressure to altitude conversion based on the preset data on. Once you're done, simply press the adjust button and the watch will implement all of those settings and get, get back to the altimeter mode. How to manually record a measurement of this watch? So uh, you can manually record the altimeter measurement of this watch at the specific time or at the specific height. And uh, you can store it in the watch data and you can later see, later see it in the watch recall mode. To do that in the altimeter mode, uh, press and hold the adjust button until set hold appears and you hear the double, double click, click or beep 
and uh, the recall uh, is shown over here and then it disappears. I believe you uh, saw it uh, previously. So the principle is simply pressing hold the, and, and holding the altimeter button until the watch beeps uh, twice. Uh, anytime you perform that uh, procedure in the altimeter mode, the watch will create and store a record with the uh, currently displayed altitude reading, along with the date and time of the reading was taken. There is enough memory to store uh, up to uh, 25 manual measurement records, which are numbered from uh, uh, rec record number 1 to record number 25. How to uh, view the uh, altitude record data? That is the data I previously uh, saved in the altimeter mode. From the standard timekeeping mode, press the mode button once, twice, and you have record uh, over here. This uh, over here uh, indicates the record uh, name, so it's the record number one. Over here is the uh, altitude that was um, recorded, or over here you have the alter uh, indicated indication that the that will alternate uh, alternate between measurement time hour and minutes and the measurement date month and day. How to shuffle between the records? Well, simply press the barometer mode, and it will shuffle between the um, records so you have your uh, manually saved record data you have your max auto save value one max number two uh, auto save value number two how to shuffle between the record uh, data over here uh, record so you can up record up to 25 spots on the uh, 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 spaces on the watch so you can record from uh, shuffle between the records using the uh, altimeter and the compass mode. So pressing those two buttons currently shuffles only between uh, record number one and record number two since I previously uh, uh, just uh, did those two records. How to clear the content of the specific memory area? Uh, first of all, you have to be in the recall mode and which uh, currently we are. Then select the a recall mode you want to be in so we have recall uh, two uh, data stored so you have number one and number two let's say i want to delete number one what i'm going to do is simply press the adjust button until clear hold appears on the display and disappears so relay release the adjust button after clr disappears so here we go hold and it's deleted so let's see if there's anything left Currently, uh, you have the three lines on the uh, digital dial, which means that the record is being taken down. So let me get back to the recall mode. Here we are. So there is nothing to see. And uh, pretty much that's, that's it. And to finish, uh, this video I'm going to show you how to specify temperature, barometric pressure and altitude units. From the standard timekeeping mode press and hold the adjust button until set hold disappears. Currently we see the um, time zone flashing over here so it's Paris and what I'm going to do is keep pressing the mode button until the um, units so temperature barometric and the altimeter units show key light power save and we have units indicated over here what you can see is celsius flashing hectopascals flashing and meters flashing to uh, change these units or the measurement of those units uh, to change the altitude uh, unit you would have to press the altimeter uh, button over here and it will shuffle between the meters or feet here I switch to feet, so pressing the altimeter button will switch between feet and meters. Pressing the barrel button, which will uh, shuffle between the inches per uh, mercury or the hectopascals. Pressing the compass button will shuffle between degrees of Celsius and degrees of Fahrenheit. Uh, let's say this is the um, preset that I want to take, so Celsius, hectopascals and meters. Uh, what I'm going to do next is simply press the adjust button and the watch, uh, press the adjust button twice and the watch will implement all of those settings. And uh, that was a detailed tutorial on the altimeter parameter compass and how-to video. Thank you very much for watching and if you are into watch-related content, please subscribe. So thank you.